Hey everyone, how we doing? My name is Tim Pongres and this is Focus on Detailing. This video is going to be dedicated to cleaning leather. What I have with me today is Gliptone's Liquid Leather Gentle Cleaner as well as Gliptone's Conditioner. This is going to be a how-to video slash is it worth it video and let me just get right in all by saying what you'll need. And that's a few microfiber cloths, an applicator pad, a brush, a vacuum and a steam cleaner. I'll be using a steam cleaner though it's not necessary just so I can get the best out of these products to find out what they can really do. That's it for the introduction, let's get right into the test video. The interior of this car was up for an entire interior detail which hadn't yet been done so please ignore the surrounding mess. First thing that you want to make sure of is whatever you're working on is free of crumbs and dirt. Leaving this behind can damage the leather and end up making a mess that's harder to reach. A quick vacuum reaching every crack and surface will sort that out. Like most of my test videos, I've split the area that I'm working on into two so you're able to see and get a better idea of how it works. As explained, this isn't necessary to use a steam cleaner, but I'm going to, just to help the leather cleaner work a bit more effectively. What it will do is open up the pores of the leather, helping remove any filth that will be taken away by this cloth. Now to use the Gliptone. There's a few ways to do this. I've seen people wipe on the cleaner with an applicator pad and then scrub it, but what I prefer to do is put the cleaner with a bit of water. The bottle shows that you don't need water, but I find it still works well and goes a lot further. It's quite a thick, gooey liquid, which is why I prefer this method. Start scrubbing the leather, paying attention to areas that may be dirtier than others. What I notice is that it foams up well, which is really good to be later wiped off. This step can be done a few times to remove any stubborn marks. This leather definitely needed it. This seemed like it hadn't been done in a long time. Once the cleaner was all wiped off, you can get an idea of how dirty the seat was, black marks being left on the cloth. I was now up to using the conditioner with an applicator pad, gently and evenly rubbing it in. This can also be done a few times if the leather is a little neglected like the seat that I'm working on now. One very positive aspect of this product is the smell. It brings back a very strong leather scent back into the car, the way leather should smell. Side by side you can see a difference in where I was working and where I hadn't touched. The leather looked cleaner and soft and is now protected, something that should have happened with these seats a long time ago. Now for a bit more of a test I wanted to concentrate on the centre console. Steam cleaning, scrubbing and conditioning, it came up looking a whole lot better than it did before. Let me just say that Gliptone is impressive, although you may need to order some online unless you live in the UK. It's easy to use, not overly expensive, costing only around $12, and it does exactly what it's supposed to do, which is clean and condition. This is what was left of the water and Gliptone cleaner after I'd finished working on the centre console and the seat. I'm going to finish off by saying that Gliptone liquid leather is absolutely worth it. And if you would like me to do any of the test videos on car detailing products, send me an email at timprongers at gmail.com or write a comment down below.